Hello, this is Elizabeth Pluswick, and I'm going to demonstrate one other uh, problem, 15.31, from the back of your Engineering Economics Resource Handout. And that is, uh, this problem deals with equal uniform annual costs and benefits and finding a future salvage value. And it's a little bit more complicated problem, so I'd like to demonstrate this for you in the video today. Problem 15.31 says consider this machine. The initial cost is $80,000. The annual operating cost is $18,000, so that'll be an annuity, annual, equal annual cost, for a term of 20 years. The question goes on to ask, what must the salvage value of the machine be at the end of the 20-year life to have an equivalent uniform annual cost of $27,000? Assume a 10% interest rate, and the salvage value is closest to so we're actually asked to find a salvage value. A salvage value, remember, is a future disposal uh, benefit, the, the amount that the equipment, that this equipment can be sold for at some time 20 years out in the future. What are the proceeds? How much are we going to get for selling that machine out in 20 years? That's a salvage value. Since it's happening, a cash flow coming into us out in the future, we give it the value F. It's the future value, and that's what we're asked to find. The thing that's kind of funny here is this cash flows of we want the total machine to have an equal uniform annual cost of $27,000. Let me show you that on a timeline um, to fully explain what that would look like. We've got our initial cost of the machine going out. In today's dollars, present value, the cost, machine cost $80,000. Uh, maintenance cost, equal uniform annual maintenance cost, or $18,000 per year for 20 years, and we're asked to find the future salvage value of the equipment such that the average cost of the entire uh, project running this machine equals an average cost of $27,000 per year. That's the equal uniform annual cost desired is $27,000. So what do we have to sell this asset for at the end of 20 years? to make the average cash flows, including that future cash flow, average out to $27,000 per year. We've got an initial big cash out, $18,000 cash out for 20 years, and what is the, what, how much do we have to sell that for at the end? So that the average of all these cash flows averages together to be $27,000. So that's what we're asked to find and what we're given in this problem. Uh, so I've written down also that the interest rate is 10% and that the project has a 20-year life. So you can set this up as an equal uniform annual cost. has to be equal to equal uniform annual benefits. We've got lots of costs. All these cash outflows are costs. And the benefit is the cash flow that's happening in the future. So actually, we can set this up... Um, this way, the equal uniform annual cost that we're trying to average out the whole project to is $27,000. So let's set that on one side of the equation alone and put all the other um, cash flows on the other side of the equation. $80,000 is one cash flow plus eight, you know, and that's an annuity. So, okay, wait, let's look for a second. We're, we're trying to find the annuity. So find A find an annuity given the present value, present cost of $80,000 at 10% for 20 years. I'm trying to analyze the, all these cash flows and turn it into annuity. So there's the first cash flow, $80,000 coming out. We want to turn it into an A, find A, given that P. Plus $18,000 annual maintenance cost. Now I have that just sitting alone. Why? Well, this, is a, this already is in terms of an annuity. We want our entire answer to be in terms of an annuity. This one already is an annuity. So we can just leave it alone. No translation needs to happen. It's already in the terms that we're looking for. That is an annuity. Plus, we have some future cash flow out here for the salvage value. And we're again trying to turn that future salvage value into its equivalent annuity. So find A given the future value, and that's actually what we're looking for, um, at 10% for 20 years. 
So it's a little bit confusing. Um, a, a lot of terms are different here than we've dealt with before. So we're trying to actually look for the salvage value necessary to make this entire cash flow situation turn into an average of $27,000. So solving for that, we have $27,000 on this side of the equation, plus $80,000. Go to the interest tables for 10% and find the factor in the AP column for 20 years, and we get 0.1175 as that factor. Multiply those together, plus the $18,000 already is in terms of an annuity equal annual maintenance costs minus then the salvage value of, um, that we're looking for times its factor, 0 0.0175, taken from the 10% interest table in the find A given F column, again for 20 years, so there's the factor that will multiply the salvage value for. That's what we're looking for. Now why did I say plus 80,000 plus 18,000 minus the salvage value when in fact the cash flows are just the opposite of that? Well, it's just a little bit easier to work with positive numbers than negative numbers. And the point is here in this problem that all of these are cash outflows, but I want to treat them all consistently. The salvage value, what we're looking for, is the opposite sign. It's going the opposite way. So I just treated all these as positive cash flows, and then this is a negative, just the opposite from the rest of the cash flows that I'm working with in this problem. From my mind, that's simpler to, to understand. So all these are positive, except the salvage value is the opposite sign. So solving then again for this situation, uh, just rearranging terms, we want the salvage value to be on its own side of the equation times its factor equals 80,000 times uh, this factor is 9,400 plus the 18,000 from here equals the salvage value on the other side of the equation. Then we divide both sides by 0 0.0175 to get the salvage value on its own, just a little bit of algebra. And the salvage value then we come up with is 22,857. And what that actually is, is the future value of what we'd have to sell that machine for at the end of its 20 year life, 22,857, is what we would have to sell that machine for in 20 years time given these cash flows over 20 years at a 10 percent discount rate or interest rate that would make the cash flows of owning the machine and the other cash flow of getting when you sell the machine the proceeds received there um, equal equal average then would equal twenty seven thousand dollars average cost per year of owning that machine how is that useful well, by itself, it's not too useful. But you can do the same kind of analysis with a different machine, a substitute machine, that has maybe different, uh, maybe a bigger or smaller initial cost, different level of uh, maintenance cost for, you know, for the year, even a different um, lifespan. And do the same analysis for that alternate machine that you could also buy instead, and then compare. Because you actually want to choose the machine that does the same job, but choose the machine that has the lowest, we want the lowest equal uniform annual cost. Or alternatively, we'd want the highest equal uniform annual benefit of two um, machines that can both do the same thing or two projects that both accomplish the same purposes. We'd want the one with the lowest cost or with the highest benefit. And if there are different sizes of of initial investments or different sizes of cash flows or even a different length of time, we can take both of them and transfer them, translate them into an average annual cost or benefit, and then compare the two and pick the one, the, the best one, the lowest cost or the highest benefit. So it's very useful in analyzing um, several machines, one or more machines that can do the same job in finding the one that makes, makes the most financial statement or makes the most financial sense when you put them all on average, um, average annual costs or benefits.